Well, hello everyone, and I'm back here on Arcadia, and uh, today I want to finish off making this shop. Now, you'll have to forgive me if I sound a bit grumpy. I've had a bit of a, a rotten day today. Um, I've had sort of problems with this computer. I've had a power cut, and it, when I logged on here just to play around with some things and to get uh, the episode started, I got blown up by a creeper. I got blown up by a creeper and knocked all the way down here. All the way to the bottom and died and unfortunately my spawn had been set uh, the last time when we were playing Aberall's Mining so I was actually about 2,000 blocks over in that direction. So when I got back all my stuff had despawned, but I was thinking, hey, you know what, there's there's tons of hoppers down there. Chances are my stuff just ended up in a hopper. So, go through all the system. Do you know how I find all the things that were in my inventory, or those enchanted diamond tools and things like that? I find this. 37 baked potatoes. Oh, yes. So I'm really glad that that happened because, you know, I would I'd be devastated without those potatoes. So anyway, I've between episodes, I've worked a little bit more on this uh, mob drop. Uh, I've got all the various bits and pieces now going into different chests. And finally, this one will be for the leftovers, which is mostly going to be... Um, string but to be totally honest with you there are witches in there so we're going to occasionally get some glowstone occasionally get some redstone and uh, partly some empty bottles from time to time but uh, nothing major and as spiders don't die that often in a mob drop they tend to cling to the sides until they despawn that's not really going to cause much uh, uh, we're not really going to get much string there so i'm just going to lump it all together in one chest so okay what have i done here well, I've replaced most of the cobblestone with smooth stone because I was hmm, thinking it had a bit of a poured concrete look to it. This, I think this is going to be about the closest we're going to get to it in vanilla Minecraft. So I think it looks a bit industrial. And that poured concrete is going to come around here to the front because this is going to be the staff area and this will be the customer area. So let's do some building, shall we? Oh, and see if you can work out what this is going to be. I'm going to start off, I think I'm going to start off with some quartz blocks. I'm going to want just a few of these. Let's make those up quickly. And they can replace there. So that's going to be the entrance. And the uh, so we'll have quartz around the entrance like this. The bits that can be seen in like this. Okay, like that. Can we get that? Yeah, excellent. Oh, run out of quartz. Just run out. Okay, so let's go and make some more. Couple of uh, stacks of nether quartz, and go and make some blocks up. Like that and like that. Not the cheapest of a uh, recipe, that one. Especially since you have to go into the nether to make them, but still not too bad. And we'll have like that, and I think we'll have a two couple of windows here. So now we got that frontage there, and we're going to put uh, some glass in there. And I want, I want, I think, some dyed glass. So let's go and grab some glass. Let's grab some ink sacks. Come over here. Make up a stack of black dyed, black stained glass. And I don't want that so much as I want panes. So. Just grab a few of those. We'll save that for later. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. So right. let's put those in here. Like that, like that, like that. 
Okay, I think we have a bit of frontage there. Okay, and I'm thinking we'll have a metal door, but I think actually I'll put that in later on. I want to first have a quick look at the floor here. So this is going to be the bit the customer sees. And uh, we'll have, I think we'll have a wall along here. And this will be the counter area. And so from this side onwards will be what the customer sees. So let's first of all, let's get some of this earth up. This <laughs> this shovel is not nearly as efficient as I'm used to, so it's, it's, it's quite slow to be honest with you. But, uh, I'm, I'll just have to make a new one. That's unfortunately the downside of dying. What is this, by the way? Uh, it's an efficiency two shovel. So it's not actually that bad. It's just compared to what I used to have. Okay, right. I want some of that. And I think I we'll want some of this red as well. So let's get some redstone going. Let's make some blocks like that. And we use slabs on the ground because they use fewer resources. So getting dark. Okay, so how wide is this? One, two, three, four. So if we have try it like this okay and one two one two one two oh, that works all right and that will leave us one two there okay and one two three four it's quartz the rest of that, so like that, like that. Yeah, that's going to be wall, that's alright. Oh, run out quartz slabs, let's make some more. Alright, uh, seeing as three quartz blocks make six quartz slabs, uh, for flooring they are far more efficient so there we go so okay not too bad to start off with that's nice brash and colorful so we'll see if we how we like that later on and under here just pick all that up I'm thinking we will have some Quartz blocks? No, actually, I think we'll have some lapis blocks. Let's get that that blue thing going like this. And above it, we'll do the quartz. So I want some quartz stairs above the the chests there. Uh, it's probably not enough, but let's see what it looks like anyway. Okay, so. Yeah, that gives us a, a little. Yeah, that looks all right. Uh, that gives us a little wedge there, so the chest will open, and but still blocks off all the stuff behind it. So I think we're we're working well there. I think we want to move that one though. Let's grab that. If we put it up facing that side, it, it just curves around. We can still open it up. That's good. Uh, right, okay, so I want to think about this wall now, and, hmm, no, I don't like that, but I think we will put that up there when I make that wall. Let's go and make some more uh, quartz blocks. Another couple of stacks. Oh, joy. Come at you. Come on. I'll have you. I'll have you. Okay, I obviously scared him off. 
because I'm just that terrifying. Yes. Well, okay. That's enough of my ego. How's your ego today? Okay, right, let's grab some of these. We want... Actually, let's have some more blue here. Let's continue that theme, and then we'll put the quartz on top of that. And finally, I think what we need to do is just get this top layer in here. So, there we go. Yeah, I, th I think that, that feels alright. I was starting to think it felt a little bit tall, but no, I think it's okay. Right, we need to get up here. Let's just put in a top layer here. And... Get rid of those. Okay, and if we're going to have... Right, if the wall's going to go down here, we'll have... Like that, and we'll just finish this off with quartz, just keep the theme going. Doorway there, so there we go, that's the wall there, we'll put a doorway in there and actually let's just let's just fill this all in. No, I think I've got a better idea. Let's do it like this. So we'll cut more quartz blocks needed. I think we're probably done with quartz blocks then. So, let's just make them as we need them from now on. Quartz blocks, we still have some glass, let's just put a glass window in there like that, so uh, it means people can see into the, the, uh, the behind the register area, but I think that's going to be alright. We'll make the, the sides and the back out of something else, because they're not going to be so visible. And I need. What do I need? I need a trap door. Some wood. And I'm going to need some stairs. Do I want my. Do I want beach? Yeah, I think beach would fit quite well here. Oh. Where'd you come from? Oh, from there, eh? Okay. Right, so, trap door. And. Yep, cut the stairs. Like that. Excellent. And why don't you come and stand inside me? Yes, that's just what I need. Thank you very much. Okay, so we will put the trapdoor. We'll put it down. We'll put the stairs this side. Make a counter. Um. I don't want to put the trapdoor this side because there's all this redstone circuitry very close to it and it might end up triggering the thing which is the last thing we want so we'll just put some like that like that a trapdoor here there we go and I had a chest floating around so we'll just put that down as a pain on the chest there it is Okay, so we now have the items. We have. I need to do something about that square there because that looks horrible. And I think what we'll do is we'll put one of these stairs in there. Not quite, no, because it doesn't quite work. Uh, looks like we will have to do a block. Right, so let's make another one. Okay. Let's actually make it this time. It's indicative of the day that I've been having, so we'll just pop that block in there. There we go, like that. And it doesn't quite look right, but uh, actually, I think we can get around that way. Let's take that one out. We'll make another block. Like that. And we'll put that block in there. There, that looks a little bit better. Interesting visual effect there. I think that will do. Okay, right, so we have a counter. We have uh, a deposit, place of deposits. Everything is working. 
So now we just need to uh, to get some walls in and get some details up to get the roof in and a few details at the front. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to compress time a little bit while I do the walls and then uh, possibly the roof as well. And then we'll come back and we'll work on the details afterwards. So I shall see you all in a moment. Okay, we have the walls up now. Uh, the walls at the front look nice and bright and white. Uh, simple spruce roof. The walls at the side. I've made out a nether brick. They look a bit more horrible, but uh, I think it's kind of the feeling I wanted here. I wanted a, a mixture of you know, sort of more opulent at the front and a bit grotty at the back. A bit like every single shop I've ever worked at or seen. So just get the scaffolding down because we don't need it anymore. I've always thought one day I'm going to do this. I'm going to make an earth scaffolding around a building and just leave it up and then everyone's just going to assume it's part of the design. And right, get these last few down. Okay, so that's uh, about it. A little bit of a, a bad fence effect there, but can't be helped. Unfortunately, these shops are very close to each other, so we're just gonna have to rub shoulders, really, aren't we? Okay, so uh, I wanted a couple of stairs because I decided I didn't like those um, birch stairs at all uh, as the counter, so I'm gonna make some spruce ones so the colors sort of match up. Let's do that quickly. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, I think. Payment under that. Okay, roof there. Just need to get this gap between the roof done. And for that, I'm going to want some quartz. I'll go and do that in a sec because I'm going to have to go and get some. Uh, I think what I want to do now is put some doors in. So I've got a couple of iron doors, which I think the colors are going to work right here. So let's put the first one in here. Like that. And we'll put the next one in here. Yeah, here like this. There we go. So that's uh, cut those off, and I've gone to kind of trap myself in here now. So we're going to need to set ourselves up a couple of ways of getting in and out. So we'll have pressure plates. So we've got two weighted pressure plates, and I'm going to want a couple of buttons for the staff one because you know, they're staff, they don't deserve weighted pressure plates. Okay, so we have a button there. Don't think that's going to affect anything in the circuitry, but we'll find out in a second. And I put the other button here, I think. There we go, like that. And just to be on the safe side, We'll put that button in on top as well. So that way there's no chance of it messing around with any of the redstone. And we'll put a pro weighted pressure plate in here. And a weighted pressure plate in here. So that way the customers don't have to push a thing to get in and out. Because they aren't staff. They don't, uh, and staff don't deserve the consideration. Left a hole up there. I've got an idea for that. This is called Mobs Bits. So, there's our logo. It's a nice bit of light for the area as well, which uh, works for me. And there's some signs up out there in a sec. There's some couple of bits and pieces I want to do in here. And I think, to be honest with you, the back is pretty much done now. Don't really need to uh, 
make this any better because this is supposed to be grotty. This is the back end. This is the guts. So I'm quite happy with this. I need some more quartz for the ceiling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12, 13, 15. So basically another stack of quartz. Okay. I'm just going to go and get that now. So we'll cut out here and I'll be back in just a sec. Incidentally, a couple of chickens have moved in through no action of my own. They aren't, however, the chicken I am looking for. These are not the chicken you are looking for. Uh, an egg. Oh, that's the reason why eggs are falling off the roof. Okay, all right. I don't know how they get up there, but they seem to like it. Fairly certain somebody's throwing eggs at my roof, but hey. That's all part of the fun that is Minecraft. All right. So, I have changed my mind about um, using some quartz walls. I think it's going to look a bit horrible. Uh, it kind of looks a bit too tall. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'll bring these down. And then I'm going to want to get up here so I can get them. Bet. Yep, it went in there. Okay, and what I will do instead, I think, is I will make some quartz tiles, quartz slabs rather. Like that, that's. Except the inevitable to make all those into blocks. I don't think I want all those as slabs though. That's probably enough. So we'll just get these up on roof here like this um, how does this look yeah I think that looks okay A bit too precious for me to let them double up like that. Okay, let's. Okay, like that. And I think I want a little bit of lighting in here. I don't think this room really needs it. It's quite well illuminated as it is, but let's put some lighting in anyway. And also, I think we're going to want to put another jack o' lantern up there. So if we just put something to put it on, and then we'll put that up, like that, and we can just take that down again, and that looks absolutely horrible, so let's get rid of it, okay. Alright, a few more slabs, and I think that's been a lot actually. You have to go court hunt, quartz hunting to uh, finish this off, I think. So we haven't quite got enough quartz to go around, so I'm just going to need to duck into the nether to get some more. Just going to uh, three. So all we need is four pieces of quartz. Actually, all we need is two pieces of quartz. Uh, actually, we need six pieces of quartz. Actually. Um, if this will work just for now uh, 
and there we go I've just saved myself a trip into the nether I'll go and sort that out later on I'm going to put some I'm going to put some lights in there and I think all I'm going to use is glowstone uh, where did I put that oh yes it's back in this chest here so let's grab some of that I've got one glowstone block here and just make some more like that and I'll we'll pop those into the ceiling just for a bit more light like that okay so we've pretty much got the shop here and I want to do something at the back there I think of something later on and there's a bit more at the front here I want to do so let's get cracking on that because we have been doing this for quite a while already uh, first thing to is hmm. you know what let's swap those over okay because that doesn't quite look right so we'll put that there come on thank you uh, right, we'll put that there Oh no we can't because we need to put something underneath it so let's get rid of that door for a sec put the nether rack there put the jack-o-lantern there and where's that block of quartz gone it's there let's pop that above yeah that looks a little bit better All right. uh, let's put that door back Like that, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's better. Alright. So, well, come to mobs, bits. Welcome to mobs bits. Okay, it's still a little bit plain on the front here, so I wanted at least one painting in here. Just some adverts. Determined not to give me a one by one, and how did you get over there? Good lord. Right. Come on, if you're going to do a 4x4, four four, give me a 4x4. Four no, I don't want that. Okay, give me 1x1s one then. Alright. There we go. 1x1s. One one. Uh, those two are duplicates. So, there we go. Right. Just give a little bit of life to that corner there. That jack-o'-lantern still isn't quite working to me. I might think about that and change it later on, but uh, in the meantime, I want some pillars. And they will go here, here, and here. And I need some more signs. Might as well make a few of them. Okay, and like that. And the first one is going to be free parking. Place to hitch your horse. Okay, and which we shall have here. Bargain bin. Creeper. Don't 
droppings. Can I put one here? I can't put one there. Okay, that's not quite going to work then, is it? Let's pick those up quickly. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, I know. I know what I'll do. Okay, right, so... Bargain. Bin. Creeper. Droppings. Skele skeleton. Spares. Pointy. Bits. And. Curry. Meat. There we go. This is the reason why when you buy a curry you should ask for named meat. And we'll put here please pay here one hmm. tell you what, five in fact we're going to have to start this again. Please pay here Five iron, a stack. There we go, that looks a little bit better. And I think just five iron bar for a stack or whatever you pick up here. Seeing as this is all the work I'm ever going to put into this, it seems perfectly fair to me. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer to being done here. Pull posters up there. Okay, just make it that look that look a little bit more filled in. Okay, so we. I really don't like those pressure plates. So there you go, mobs bits. Your local convenience superstore. And looking every bit as grotty as it deserves. I think I'm going to make some more changes to this. Some ideas that have occurred to me as I've been designing this. But uh, that's the basics. And uh, if I do make any changes to this, I shall show you them in a future episode. But in the meantime, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Arcadia Server. This has been Mobs Bits. Thank you and good night. Good night.